You heard the disembodied voice. All right. And yep, excellent. All right. We'll get started. Welcome, everybody, to this week's QVET community meeting. It is the 25th of September 2024, I believe. Um, yeah. Thank you all for being here. Um, I forgot to do this last week. Do we have anyone new on the line uh, who would like to take the time to introduce themselves? I think I recognize everyone. Uh, in which case, we will keep going. Daniel, I think your mic is on. Is it? Sorry. Yeah, that's all right. This happens to have a very uh, tippy taffy keyboard. All righty. If you have anyone new, uh, let's have a quick look at the schedule. I don't believe anything has changed. So the schedule 1.4 has a feature freeze in roughly four weeks time on the 22nd of October with a, um, an eye to release on the 12th of November. So that's version 1.4. Um, one of the things on our um, agenda is, I think I put it here, um, on the mailing list review, I think, is a version 1.5 um, unconference. Let's talk about some planning stuff. So um, we'll get to that. I don't see anything on the agenda. Um, if you'd like to add something, you're very welcome. Uh, but we will move on to uh, there's three design proposals, two of them are new as of, I believe, this week. Let's have a look. And is Lee here? Doesn't sound like it. Looks as though it's, it's all about expanding instance types and preferences. It's also a work in progress. Um, so if this touches you or it interests you, uh, by all means, please have a look. Um, the second one from Ed. I don't know if Ed's here. Yes. Oh, I'd like to... Um, Quickly speak to this for you know, however many seconds. Sure. Um, this is uh, an, a proposal uh, that comes from a need that we saw. Uh, there are several CNI and network providers that have started uh, uh, changing the primary pod network name that is usually ET80. It starts to be, uh, no, so actually it's different. I'm talking about the different PR. <laughs> so this one is about something else. This one is uh, about the need to migrate uh, a VM uh, and keep the traffic on the primary network, which I mean the pod network. Um, it, it needs not to break. It needs to be... Uh, consistent and uh, we should see no TCP connection breaking there and so on. Uh, and uh, the proposal gives some pre-requirements from the network provider and the CNI that we expect for them to, to allow this to happen and the solution that we have for the, for the network binding. There are several options here. In the end of the document, there is a priority that we try to to set to try to implement this. That's it. Thank you. So, well, you quite a bit here. And it looks like you've had some comments on there already. Uh, was this the one you were talking about originally? 
Yes, if Aurel is here, he can explain it, but I don't know if he's here. Maybe he's here. Yes, I'm here. So, as Eddie said, there are some network providers that provide a, a primary network interface with a different name than ETH0. And this proposal uh, is about adjusting Cougar to be able to work with uh, this kind of network providers. There are several, several alternatives. The discussion is pretty vibrant, and I just saw that Vladik added the, a new comment there. So if you're interested, please join the conversation. I find it very interesting. Right on. Thanks, guys. Uh, if no one has anything to comment on any of those design proposals, we will move on to the pull requests. So there's only one that I could see that needed attention. Um, I typically uh, look over uh, people who I'm very familiar with um, who don't have any comments on the um, assumption that they know very well how to get um, attention to their PRs and the people to ping. Um, so this one, it's a documentation um, PR, but it's for the developer documentation. Are we still uh, working on some developer documentation, or centralizing that? I am on a pause. We're currently working on a very big network feature, but uh, this uh, person is a member of my team and I've uh, ah. commented on this PR. So this one is taken care of. Excellent. I had not seen that when I did this. All right, let's close them. Thank you. All right. Um, Oh, a couple of things from the mailing list. So there are two help wanted. One's even called help wanted or help needed. Grimace face. Um, struggling with the Mac VTAP feature on RKE2. Put all the steps in the dock. Uh, launcher is crashing. Big log. Um, is this a networking issue or is this a third issue? It is a networking issue, probably. Oh. Or at least something that stems Wonderful. from network. Uh, since there's a couple of people from SIG Network here, are either of you able to um, help this person? Yes, but it will have to wait for a bit because we are pretty overloaded at the moment. Okay. Um, perhaps in the interim, uh, you could point them to raising uh, this as a bug. It might be easier to help them uh, through GitHub rather than our mailing list. It's a good idea. Jarrell? This one, I think, has much less information in it. Yeah. Um, who can help me here? What is I am? It's not uh, AWS permissions. I think it's identity. Something, something, management. Yeah. <laughs> Identity, something, something, management. Um, okay. Um, did anyone know where we might be able to direct this uh, question to? Oh, you said it's in AWS.
Just write him, uh, push the red button. <laughs> which, is the, which is the red button? That's the point. <clears throat> All right. Um, I need more information on that one. Uh, this is the one I was talking to you before. I started by Lee um, suggesting an unconference style online contributor summit. Um, the end of October, um, so that'll be before 1.4 goes out, but after feature freeze. Um, does anyone have any objections to me putting some blocks into the calendar? Um, and I think last meeting we talked about how this could be useful for um, SIGs to um, send a representative or even have the discussion um, to kind of put forward um, what they expect to be working on to help kind of prioritize reviews going into the version 1.5 um, cycle slash schedule. Uh, does anyone have any uh, thoughts or questions on any of that? Excellent. In which case, I will expect you all to be there. We have some bugs. Yeah, I think this is a pod. Yeah. Yeah, I think we don't provide guarantee. It it, it seems like. Um... This feature is uh, kind of misunderstood the other way around. I mean, we don't provide any guarantees that the pod will be, or the VM will be shut down after uh, the termination grace period is over. Uh, we <clears throat> we merely guarantee that uh, I mean, we allow the pod to uh, shut down at this period of time before we kill it. Um, so the fact that it shut down before that time, I think it's it's good. Also, this person is using a quite old uh, Qubit, Qubit version, which I don't think we support at the moment. Oh, you are correct. I was looking at the client version. That is true. Alrighty, just because I can look at that. Third handler stability. Those who was unable to help. Oh well, those who but can uh, reach out for help. Vladek, are you looking at this? I didn't even understand what's the issue here. The link are broken. It's only me or Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what the issue is. The <laughs> Only Dosa can understand that. <laughs> Dosa will replace okay. us all. Dosa said that this is a tough nut uh, 
Vladik should look at it. <laughs> it is now a cyclic. Thumbs up for the for that one. Interestingly, Dosu also thumbs down itself. No, I mean, you can, um, this is a way to, to correct it. Uh, so you, you basically vote um, whether the answer is correct or not. And then based on these, <clears throat> based on the feedback, it will uh, try to improve itself. Uh, well, I very much appreciate that I tagged you in it. So now it will choose Vladik often. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I... But I'll take a look. I'm not sure what it is. I wonder. I'm just curious as to like, did it pick you out at random from the owner's file, or like, does it have a very? Does it just happen to like you? <laughs> Yeah, I think Daniel and I set it up. So, um, I mean, Daniel. Set it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's got eight entries, and they all say Vladik. <laughs> all right, thanks for taking a look. And thanks, Dosu Bot. Okay, one more. Um, okay, user work with startup scripts isn't working. Ah. With a missing file. It is indeed missing. And the files are there. Is Dosi by tackling porky pies? Does anyone know? I'm not sure what is this. Uh, what is this uh, file? Why does it need to be there? You tell me it's in sick visualization. I think the Windows Word IO drivers were just like a reshaped and uh, they removed that file but in our user docs we specifically tell the user to run that file so. seems like a valid concern hmm. is this a problem with the documentation or is it a problem with um, how we've handled this or both. You probably just need to update the documentation, yeah. Okay. Um, are you able to uh, comment on this issue, please? Yeah. Awesome, thank you. And feel free to raise that docs bug. I feel as though um, you'll put a much more uh, sensible bug description. And I'll be able to. Okay, that brings us to the end of the bug. There were uh, two flaky text fixes that I saw, um, which we would like to celebrate. I don't know if Aviv is on the call or if someone else can speak to this. Uh, I can give maybe a a few insights, but please, by all means. Can you hear me? I can. You got a little bit of environmental noise, but I can hear you. Yeah, it feels like some delay. Uh, but basically, this is just to quarantine the test, right? Not a fix yet. Uh, other than this, we have two other uh, alerts that are currently quarantined about uh, REST errors, but uh, 
we are aware and working on it right now. Yeah, I think that's it. Awesome. Thank you. And we have another one. Is Or with us? Or is not with us, but I have reviewed this uh, PR. So this uh, PR is about a, a flake which was caused by the non-determinism or the order is not guaranteed when you're iterating a map and this test assumes the order is uh, always the same and Oward fixed it so the test would work if the result would be at any order. Awesome. Thank you. That brings us to, I don't think anyone's added anything here. Um, let me just have a quick look. Uh, where have I gone? Okay, we've got a couple of, ah, oh, cool. Um, AWS identity and access management. Federico, um, does that document have anything useful for the person that raised that bug, or is that just answering what the A <laughs> IAM stands for? Sorry, I didn't get the question. If, uh, it was for me. Sorry, uh, I just saw you put in the chat um, referring back to that IAM um, question. Does oh, that yeah, document no. that you linked to, uh, does that help the person put the IAM credentials into their VMI or is that just uh, telling us what the A in IAM stands for? No, 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 it's just for uh, what, is it, what is it? Okay, all right, thank you. Uh, in which case, we have come to the end of today's meeting unless anyone would like to add something um, before we wrap up. I'll take that as a no. Thank you very much, everyone, for being here and for uh, everything that you do. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day, a lovely weekend, and we'll see you uh, next week, I presume, uh, in October. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Andrew. Bye-bye.